It's doing very well. And I think if there's one thing that we've learned is that the art market is pretty resilient. You know, I think during COVID, we all felt really nervous. And in fact, the art market fared really very well. And so right now, there's a lot of confidence in the market. And I think the sales from yesterday also go in that direction as to say that things are going pretty well right now. There's so much going on here at the fair. Um, I would say uh, Thomas Dane Gallery with a stand curated by um, Anthea Hamilton was great. Uh, also uh, Listen Gallery with a solo presentation by Laure Prouveau, French artist. Um, and then of course Free Sculpture is also always a highlight which is our public display of outdoor sculptures in Regent's Park. Things do kind of seem more or less back to where they were before. Obviously there is a certain backdrop of um, of kind of economic uncertainty, which may be, um, may be having some effect, but actually so far we don't seem to have found that of, you know, kind of you know, having a big, big, big negative effect on sales in general. We don't necessarily price all of our works in pounds because we show artists from all over the world, so they, they usually price in their own currency or uh, more likely in the US dollars or, uh, and obviously some artists price in uh, euros, so it hasn't necessarily helped our, enti our entire programme, but um, certainly things that are priced in pounds you know, do seem to be attracting a lot of interest at the moment. It looks like people are uh, really keen to invest you know, in art. You know? I think uh, a lot of people you know, are thinking that it's a, a good investment, you know, again. Um, and for us, yeah, it's been going quite well on that front, you know, so, um, yeah, it looks like it's a, it's a good moment uh, for the art market, I would say.